All right, guys, welcome to your e-learning. My name is Mr. Miles. I'm the 7th grade Track 2 language arts teacher, um, and you'll get to see all of us as we go through these videos or these lessons over the next however long it takes to uh, complete the school year, I guess. So um, today it's me. So hello, Track 1, 3, and 4. I'm going to walk you through your first activity. All right. It is the Module 4 Virtual Gallery Walk. So we are picking up right with Module 4, Module 3 in the past, right? We're moving on from it, okay? So your first activity today is gonna be a gallery walk. Typically, we would be posting images around the room, quotes around the room, pictures around the room, videos that you could play where you would go around, work in silence and kind of write down your thoughts and take a guess at what we're gonna be learning about in module four, okay? So the irony is that what we are learning about we are having to do online, and I think once you get going, you'll see how ironic it is, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through your activities here. You have two parts to this, okay? There is a slideshow, which you are looking at right now, right? You see this nice little slideshow, right? Going through, I'll go through all this in a second. Okay, you're gonna view this slideshow on your own because I'm gonna speed it up a lot in the video. You're gonna need to do it on your own. You're also going to want to be with this form, okay? It's called the week one, day one gallery walk form, okay? And we'll get that going in a second. So the first thing you need to do, okay? The one, the only one that's a little bit different from the rest one, the rest of them is the first thing, okay? So let me get rid of me there, all right? And you're going to go to your first thing. This is a video. It's called I Forgot My Phone. Okay, I cannot play it for you on Screencastify because Screencastify won't pick up the volume of it, right? But you need to watch it. So once you are done watching this video, open up the new slideshow and click play on this video. This video requires you to have a little bit of maturity, okay? It's a PG movie type thing here, right? There's going to be uh, boyfriend, girlfriends, okay? There's going to be... Um, Somebody at a restaurant drinking adult drinks. I'm going to ask you to be responsible in that and just pay attention to the content of the thing. OK, when you get done with that, you'll stop the slideshow where it's at on this video and you'll come to your gallery form. You'll click next and you'll notice the first thing is called the video. It's going to ask you to list two things that you notice and two things that you wonder. So for me, I've seen the video. So let me. Um, model for you of two things that I noticed. In the video, I noticed that she was the only one without a phone the entire time. I also noticed that she's very, very social. She has a lot of friends and a lot of, and does a lot of things during the day. So two things that I wonder, it makes me wonder what it would be like if I didn't have a cell phone, right? And I went through my day, how, how weird would that be? And then the other question, the other thing I wonder would be how, um, how, do I, how does it look when I'm always on my phone? I find myself on my phone more often than I care to admit, okay? So then once you get done with that, you're back over here kind of going through the motions of the rest of the activity, right? So we have item one, image of a neuron. You study this, you go to your form, you click next, and you'll, well, I have to enter instructions, so test, test, right? And then we click item one, right? So you notice item one right here, matches item one right here and it's an image of a neuron you will list two things you noticed and two quest two things you wonder or two questions that you have if that helps you think about it better okay item two is a quote from charles darwin he is a scientist who studied evolution item three is an interactive demonstration of the brain you need to click on this link right here okay and then there's going to be a slider at the bottom to show you what it looks like when a brain matures. The red, yellow, and orange patterns indicate undeveloped brain tissue, while green, blue, and purple indicate a maturing brain. So you can kind of move it along the timeline to see where your brain is on this timeline, okay? I'm gonna bring myself back here, right? So let's look at item four. Item four is a quote from Richard Knox. Read the quote, just like the previous three items. Go to the gallery walk form, complete it again, right? We're going to keep on moving on. Item five is a recommendation from the AAP. This is super interesting. The AAP is the American Academy of Pediatrics. This is what your doctor is recommended to ask you when you go visit, okay? What are two questions they're going to ask? And they're over there in that quote. You can read it and look. 
Item six is a quote from Tim Berners-Lee. He's the founder of WWW, which is the World Wide Web, right? Literally the internet, okay? The information you find on the internet that comes through you and any version of internet that you access is because of this, a guy like this, okay? And he's got a quote. Item seven is an image of a baby on an iPad appears to be watching Toy Story, okay? My kids probably knew how to interact with my cell phone before they could talk, which is mind blowing. I didn't teach them that. They just learned that naturally. Item eight is a quote. Item nine is another interactive thing. You're going to click on this link below and there are five images of students about your age, maybe a touch older that explain their relationship with technology. And then you can click on a video about their school that they attend. Right. So it's called Students and Technology Constant Companions. Item 10 is a definition of addiction, right? Kind of weird we're talking about technology and addiction. What does that look like? How many of you feel like you might be slightly addicted to technology? All right, here is item number 11. It is a chart that explains the average hour spent per day in leisure and sports activities by youngest and oldest populations, right? So you can see here on the hours per day on the chart, you guys are going to fall mostly in that blue category, even though you're not 15 yet. And then um, your other PL teammates, Miss Jackson, Miss Royal, Miss Cassie, are going to fall in this green category. I'm I'm much younger, so I, I'm not listed on this chart. Right? Item 12 is an image of playing video games. We couldn't resist that with how many people play video games um, every day on their phones or on their own devices, and how um, popular people become and how much money they've made playing video games, okay? Those are all of the items. Every time you look at an item and you complete an item, you come over here and you fill out one of these and you would click next, right? So after item one, you type your stuff and then you click next and there's item two. At the very end, make sure you submit it, okay? Make sure you submit it, the form. Then you need to make sure you mark the assignment done and complete, got it? That's important. That way your teachers can see that you've done it. They can read through your answers and make sure that you have done it correctly. OK, we will be providing you guys feedback on all of your assignments. So please take your time to do it. My students know they always ask me, is this for a grade? And I always tell them, chase the learning, not the grade. We are not in a space where we're worried about the grade. The best you give us is how much you'll get out of it. Right. So if you give your best effort, you'll get the maximum amount of uh, of learning, education, and stuff out of these assignments. So please give us your best effort when you're doing it. They're not designed to be very long. They're not designed to overwhelm you. So do your best. All right, guys.